Fenster wie ein ehrenes Gewand. Und der Mond war wie voll Blut. Can you go wake up your body? You gonna go wake up your body? Do your body, D. Do your bow. Good, Dipper. My poor cat, my snakes, if they're out on my daybed, they just can't stand to see her ignore them. They harass her and harass her until she gets up and pays them some attention. <laughs> this is Tipper. He was my rescue. You can't get behind the pillows. No, you cannot. No. <laughs> she rolls over on her back when she wants to play with them. Who's that? Get your buddy. Get your pal. Give him kisses. Give different kisses. She doesn't bite them or try to. They don't really bother with her either. They just hang out together. Ah, oh, here we go. You're not getting under the desk. No, 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 no desk for you. Tipper's being bad, dude. You better put him in check. He's trying to sneak off. Nah. Get back over here. You're not hiding in the corner over there. No. You stay over here. One track mine. I'm telling you, snakes. The dipper. Is that your dipper? Yeah, is that your dipper? He woke you up, huh? Dipper wake you up. That's not nice. They just will not let her take a nap if she's on the bed. They'll just go over and wake her up. They'll keep bugging her till she wakes up and starts moving around and then they ignore her. That's a really weird relationship. No, you can't go down there. We don't play with your electrical wiring. That's not healthy. There's your buddy. No tipper. No wiring. No computer desk. No. What? He wakes you up and then ignores you? Isn't that the hoot boy? Pesters you till he gets you up and then he leaves you alone. Oh, there he goes. He's behind you. And there's your pal. No, you're not getting under that shelf. They love getting in nooks and crannies everywhere they possibly can. They just... What? Oh, big stretch. Tipper, wake you up. Yeah, he did. See, that's a pain in the butt, that snake is. Ginger does the same thing. The cat snapping on the bed. They'll harass her until she gets up. Once she gets up, they usually just ignore her. It's kind of funny relationship. Well, this year's 11 years they've had this relationship and friendship between them. Never a bad day. Very social with each other. If they don't want to be bothered, they just ignore each other. It's basically very simple, but there's never any bad behavior toward each other. Yeah, there's a buddy just sneaking under you. Hey, Tipper. Did you tip her? Oh, I give Tipper hugs. Yeah. Mr. Pal. He woke you up, huh? Tipper's bad. Tipper's bad. He woke you up. Yeah, he did. Tipper woke you. You need a bath. Look at your hair. You've been lazy. Look at that. There's your buddy. There's your pal. I get behind the pillows. Help! Oh, who's that? Who's that Tipper? Who's that Tipper? He can't scratch your head, silly. Tipper can't scratch your head. No, he can't. can't scratch your back. You're weird. Here, have a snake. Oh. You goofball. He can't scratch your back. Aw. Yeah, trying to kiss him. Tipper doesn't like your scratchy tongue. Neither does Ginger. No, they don't like your scratchy tongue. <laughs> You're a good old girl, 14 years old. Yeah. Dipper's watching television, naturally. He woke you up. The Dipper woke you up. 
He's watching television. No, he's definitely going to ignore you. My snakes love TV. What are you doing? You watching TV? She's very careful not to step on the snakes. She'll hold her foot up or step over them. She's real aware of every move they make. And she's very protective of them. It's a really a unique relationship, but it's been going on for 11 years, man. But she's very gentle with them. They just don't like her scratchy tongue when she tries to kiss them and wash them. And that the poop <laughs> wakes you up and then leaves you. Hmm. There she goes. There's Dipper. <laughs> Where's he going, Dee? Where's he going? Huh? You better keep him in check. Let's go sneak around and try to get on the computer case. He's over there. Oh, he can't get under that shelf. Sorry, pal. He's going to get on the No, you're not. Those wires. That thing will eat you up, Tipper. <laughs> you're going back around with him. Keep an eye on him. He's trying to get into mischief today. Yep. Dipper's looking for trouble today. He's determined to get on his computer. Get him, Dave. Get him, Deeper. There he goes. No, he's not. He just thinks he is. <laughs> She's not gonna watch you, too. They just do not like her. She tries to love them up and watch them and mother them and they just do not like this way she's on at all. Peter's a good kid. Very loving kid. She has a lot of patience with the snakes, for sure. They harass the heck out of her sometimes. She's trying to rest her, just laying around with me. They just pest her terrible sometimes, but she's very patient with them. So yes, I love them. I love them like friends. And there he goes again. That's a lamp. Yep. You can't get on the computer desk. Hard heads. Yes, you are. So I'm going to go mess with deeper then. No indifference at all for each other. What are you doing? What are you doing? Snort. Snort. He's snorting me. It's not in me. Yeah, a play deeper. She's a good cat. She understands that the snakes are her equals in the house. There's never been any animosity toward the snakes. They all get loved the same, so there's no reason for jealousy or anything. Die Oberhäupter über Tausende 